So you might be wondering how to install SKSE or F4SE or any other script extenders for Bethesda games. Well, first of all, find the one that you want. They will be linked to on silverlock.org. So for example, if you need Skyrim or Skyrim Special Edition or Skyrim VR, go to skse.silverlock.org and then download the 7-zip archive. So, depending on your browser settings, you will either automatically download it to your downloads folder, or you will have a pop-up window open. I have mine set to have a pop-up window open so that I can go into my drive where I save my downloads for games. Then when you save it there, it should pop up as a new download in Vortex Mod Manager. Now whenever it's done, you can go ahead and click on it, change it to Disabled. Then double click it, wait for it to install, change the mod type to ENB. If you want, you can change the name, and the version. Once you have done that, right click on it, click Open in File Manager. It will pop up, might be in the background sometimes, and you will see this. So you will find the data folder has data folder information has been moved up a level, and the top level information has been moved down a level. This is because Vortex Mod Manager assumes that the top level is the readme's and therefore moves them down a level, whereas the data level should be on top. In order to correct this, you need to right click, click New, Folder, and name it Data. You then copy your scripts folder into Data, and then go into the XSE folder and copy that drag that up one folder. You can then delete it. Once you have done this, you can go ahead and read the what's new and read me if you wish to, and then go back to Vortex and click Enable. Now if you go to your data folder, you will find skse64loader.exe. Now once you have done this, go to your dashboard, click on the three dots beside skse64 or xse64 depending on your uh, game, click edit, click the folder icon that's labeled change next to target, and find the loader. Hit OK and hit save. Now the loader will not be the default button for the top unless you click on the three dots again and click make primary. This way whenever you click the launch button in the top of your screen on Vortex it will launch SKSE 64. 